Um, for the first question, as a creator, I approach my creatorial practices with a deep understanding of my personal concerns, coupled with an analysis of contemporary and imperative issues, and uh, focusing on suggesting future possibilities. Over the last few years, my curatorial practice has been um, examining various dimensions of Asia through the lens of invasive species, which then emphasizes on migration and historical narrative of species. Well, first of all, uh, I think it's important to say that uh, curatorial projects are never indifferent to the times or to the places where they are carried out. Creating is always a situated practice, even when the curator doesn't assume it. Creating is a practice of representation always carried out from a specific context and made for a specific context. Second, I think it's also important to understand that no representation of a given reality, including any curatorial project, is capable of covering all aspects of that reality. There are always choices to be made. There are issues, there are peoples, and understandings of the world that are included in any curatorial project, and others, issues, peoples, and understandings that, that are necessarily left out. Every representation, and therefore any curatorial project, is an abstraction of the reality it represents. In this sense, curatorial projects can be understood as instruments of dispute in the field of production and in the field of imagination, instruments of dispute to affirm what should or should not represent a given reality, to affirm what should give meaning to this reality in the sphere of the sensible. For me, therefore, it's very important to be aware that any curatorial project is not only informed by a given reality, but that it is also capable of challenging the ways in which this reality it is, is described. As a consequence, any curatorial project is capable of making this representation of reality more inclusive, but not necessarily so, as it may simply conform to the existing inequality, inequalities and to the existing violences of reality, to the existing excluding ways of representing reality. In this sense, every curatorial project has a political dimension. Das Ausstellen und Vermitteln von zeitgenössischer Kunst sind für mich als Kuratorin immer politisch. Denn ich möchte einen Diskurs ermöglichen und fördern, indem ich Künstlern und Künstlerinnen, egal ob arriviert oder independent, eine Plattform biete, auf der sie ihr Werk in seiner Komplexität und Aktualität dem Publikum präsentieren können. Dazu muss ich aber im Kontext des jeweiligen künstlerischen Werkes denken. Daraus entwickle ich eine Ausstellung samt adäquater Vermittlungsformen und verankere diese im Hier und Jetzt. Durch ins Werk einführende Ansprachen, multimediale Präsentationen und Publikationen, Führungen, Werkstattgespräche mit den Künstlern. Und sicher freut es mich, wenn die Ausstellung besonderen Erfolg gefunden hat. Um, I believe that first of all, uh, curatorial work is a multitask profession. Um, it is an interdisciplinary 
service for uh, art institutions, uh, for artists and um, for the people. I believe that um, curatorial uh, work is on the one hand, and this is most probably the, the most appealing part of the job, it's highly creative, uh, analytic and philosophic, even artistic. Um, I know that curators are not artists, but as we are working in the field of design and art and um, industrial design and interior architecture, as we are also working in the field of aesthetics, there is even some kind of artistic part or an artistic um, dimension within the work. Um, and I believe that um, a curator is foremost a researcher. Um, the research might be um, connected to uh, issues in uh, art history or in contemporary art. It might be an issue, uh, a topic of art uh, in the art world. Let's say you do something about migration, you do something about um, art and migration or the city and, um, uh, and art, or you do something about, you know, the state of realism or the state of contemporary painting in the arts. So often um, exhibitions are either related to art itself or on the other hand often uh, exhibitions are related to issues in, uh, in, in, in society, in the world, in reality and then you do something about you know current politics or current economics or ecology or you know something else. And um, in whichever field you are working, often these fields are merged. Um, you have to research. You have to research um, the issue that the exhibition is about. You have to uh, become an expert um, in the context of the topic that you are dealing with. Um, so that means you will research uh, various fields in social science like history, psychology, philosophy um, and others. On the other hand, obviously, you have to know um, art history. You have to know your art uh, world or the art world that you are living in, the local or maybe global. You have to follow um, historical as well as current discussions regarding your exhibition project. Uh, so that means there's often actually a quite academic or research-based dimension um, in the field or in the context of you know curatorial uh, work and um, what I always think is whatever you do it should have a meaning um, you should create an exhibition that is meaningful for you uh, for the artists that you are working with for the institution that you're doing it for and of course for the people that will visit the exhibition and along the way I think one of the most important skills for curators, besides being creative and, you know, um, academically, you know, educated in a certain way, you have to know your stuff. Um, I believe that also, um, beside all these things that you have to know about exhibition design and materials and visual balance and art history and budgeting and arts management, besides all these interdisciplinary, multitask, background on this base actually I think one of the most important thing is interpersonal relations and interpersonal uh, communication skills um, because you will deal with different um, people you will deal on the one hand I always think that um, the curator is in some kind of cultural triangle on the one side there is um, the art world, the artists, arts writers, your colleagues. On the other hand, there's the institution. It might be an art institution, it might be something else. And on the third corner of the triangle, there are the people. So, and with each corner of the triangle, you have to create different relations and different communication skills in a way. You have to explain and talk and discuss the matters that are important for you, always in, in different ways in a way. So. Therefore, I believe to be transparent, to be honest and um, to integrate all parts of the triangle as much as possible or to consider them, their wants and their needs as much as possible, I think it's very, very important. And so I think there has to be a balanced power relation 
between, especially between you and the artist. The decision with whom we would like to work with is based on interest and sympathy. And whether somebody is compatible and with the content. There's more of a collaboration when decisions are discussed with several people and one decides in this discussion for something. Everybody and everything is involved and developed in common on a common working platform. So how do I define my personal curatorial project? That is quite easy for me to answer. Um, I was born in Korea, uh, but I grew up in Sweden. I was interested in my cultural heritage uh, since a very early age. So when I started at art school as a mature student, it was quite a natural step for me to explore this further. Um, and this naturally leads to questions about diversity, inclusion, community and so on. So um, this has seeped through to my curatorial practice. When I select artists for an exhibition, for example, um, I like to select um, a diversity of either and uh, cultural background, but also the way they express themselves and the type of art. And I like to have a variety of different mediums or, or art techniques, um, because I think that could really expand the, the language to reach people. Um, and when I curate, it's very important for me that all the artists and everyone involved um, has a, a positive experience. I want it to be enjoyable for most. I think that's what uh, everything life and art is about. So uh, when I put all the work together, that should um, then become like a megaphone to really, really amplify the message um, that we want to convey to the audience. And um, the aim for me, the message is that um, if the viewer can take away with them some thoughts and, and start thinking about themselves and others as well. Um, and um, hopefully this will broaden the horizon and break down barriers and preconceived ideas when it comes to groups in society such as people will... Um, different heritage, uh, political views or religious or sexual um, identity and so on. I think it's really, really important um, considering what's going on in today's social political environment. Um, so at the end of the day, if I can touch one person or, or inspire one person to start thinking about these very important subjects, I, I feel I've succeeded. I am an artist and my curatorial activities are closely linked to this identity. Having said that, I can say that the center of my artistic and curatorial activities lies in promoting artistic works configured as possibilities for unmediated artistic insertions in the field of light. My quest is to carry out intensive creative investigations that convey artistic thought as far as possible, without mediation, bringing to the forefront the direct experience between artists, author, and public. According to the point of view that guides my actions, artistic making is closely linked to reflective production, both generating knowledge and forming new paradigms. In this sense, over the past 20 years, I have dedicated myself to investigating and disseminating the effects of this mobility of thought on the relationship between art and everyday life, art and other areas of knowledge, and also on art and the art system. My projects, for the most part, aim to offer the means for creating artistic propositions that stimulate the debate that encompasses the problem of the public presentation of contemporary art, especially with regard to the portion of this production that brings with it new forms of public communication with an emphasis on the wide and immaterial circulation of information.
I also seek, in my projects, to bring together the experiences of artists and intellectuals open to the intersection of ideas in this sense. In this sense, my bet is on the very hybridity of current artistic production as a way to move seamlessly through different areas of knowledge and modes of production. The curatorial works that I develop, for the most part, are actions carried out directly in the landscape that involve the direct or indirect participation of the public. These are projects that do not necessarily aim for direct exhibition results, and many of these actions, in fact, end up gaining a plural format and are materialized or simply recorded in films, books, photographic series, theater plays, performances, exhibitions, and public debate. I am curating on an institutional level as well as a free curator for artist-run spaces. I prefer to work alone, but teamwork can lift a project also to its best. Although institutional, my exhibitions shall enable the free professional artists of the Rhein-Main area to initiate new artworks consistently. Because of my established exhibition frames, they could be included to show new positions again and again. I favor to work with themes because this allows a field of very different artwork to be connected through one idea. So I can present collections in a dialogue with free artists and their current positions. I'm also one for the accompanying programs. This can be anything related to the theme or the group or a current important development like climate change species protection, or new social paradigms. Being a multidisciplinary artist myself and coming originally from the performing arts, curating means to me to set up a dynamic and interesting space, which includes in its concept the participation public visitor already in advance. Space the setup, the performance of art, the exhibition's choreographed immersive character. All this shall create a special experience that hopefully breezes into the everyday life of the people, who in my eyes should change in sweeping dreamers after having visited one of my exhibitions. I follow these ideas when I create and showcase my own art positions too.